Hit the wrong way. It's all good. We have two jobs. Everything's falling apart. This isn't how it should be. We were supposed to do much better. There, there was so much. Shit. It's fine. There it's were fine. so many things that just went wrong. Stand with you you stayed with me. Okay. Look at this. Oh, you can't really see it. Oh, and this is going to be backwards. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's kind of. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Theory, we're fine. We're fine. And the philosophy. Man, I'm really glad you picked this song. Like, I'm going to do one of these. I'm going to hold it in this hand. There we go. I can hold it. Hello, first Look, viewer. This. Okay. Hello. You're not gonna be able to see it very well. I, I flipped them around at the beginning. You didn't see, but I dropped literally all of these right before you came in. It was super sketchy. Welcome to our home. We're feeling a little vibey today. It's a little vibey. Everett W. Ever, Everett w. What is the W? It's William. Oh, that's a good name. William! My, gra my grandfather. Your grandfather? I love it. Yeah. Let's take a seat. Let's all go right. sit down. Right. I'm super excited about today's episode. <laughs> Yeah, but we've been friends uh, since uh, birth, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that checks out. Yeah. Two nope. years ago? Two years ago? Two, two years, years ago. You guys are a whole two years old. Right? We are a whole two years old. That's so crazy because I remember moving here and I immediately was like, I like this kid a lot. I like this guy a lot. And then you didn't know about me for a while and it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. But but overall, we ended up being, we ended up being okay. Yeah. We did totally fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're awesome. I, one thing I loved about it is your music taste right off the bat. Incredible. I felt like I was a little bit of a music hog at Sozo. I, oh! I, I would just be like, it's my shift, I'm playing music for five hours. Listen, you got, like, one thing that I love about that, you got, you, you always, when you came in, when you were, with, 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 I, did I have a stroke? I'm back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. When, uh, when you were having the shift, it, there, there was such a vibe in Sozo. It was so great. Every time I went and you were always playing music, I was like, Good music right here. I've <laughs> never heard more people be like, wait, what's playing? Yeah, they, they yeah, come up and talk to you. Is this, yeah. Because if it's me playing, it's just, oh, it's just John Mayer. It's just John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> John Mayer Billy. Oh, is that, who's that? Oh, that's Billy Joel. Uptown Girl again for the seventh time in a row? Yes. Who's to say? I am actually, because I keep picking it over <laughs> and over again. So, thank you for being on the show today. We're going to start off as we always do with, um, we're going to be game? talking about, some games, and this one's a little bit more political. No, it's not really political. <laughs> we're not gonna, we're not, we're gonna steer away from the politics, but it is called impeachment, and we're gonna see how many pins we can fit, fitch, fitch, and fit, as well as fitch, into this peach. It is a peach. It's, it's not, not an apple. apple. It's not an apple. You it's, totally did I, not. I totally get did it. So I'm gonna pass this down. It's definitely, it's definitely a peach. Here we go. Okay. And there's the other two right there. Okay. Look at that. I don't know who got the biggest. I tried to grab the same the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It's not about the size, it's how you use it's it. It's about how you use it. We're gonna take these stickers. Oh, we gotta right take there. the stickers off. Stickers oh, we even, there's a Fuji peach. Fuji peach. The Fuji it's peach. Fuji peach. peach. Okay. Okay. peach. Quality, quality uh, peaches. Peach. Yeah, <laughs> peaches. 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 Mm. peaches. Smells like Georgia. Yeah. Just smells like Georgia. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So, uh, whoever fits the most, then I guess is the winner. How many? What time was it? Let's say within an hour. An hour? No, let's, we probably should cut it shorter than that. We'll just do like a couple minutes. Okay. While we're doing, we're going to rapid fire some quick questions, get them out of the way. Because it's, nobody, you know what I mean? It's just like, I don't know. We're going to get rid of the boring questions. Yeah, so, first off, you were born. How's that? Uh, great. I uh, was born in Alaska, actually. You were born in, no, are you serious? Yeah, I am. Oh, wow, that was actually uh, an interesting question. Uh, I thought I was uh, oh, Yeah, I uh, lived in Anchorage for about. Nine months, You're and totally then we moved good. to Arizona for my first, I guess, year. Okay. And then we moved to uh, Washington. Um, Love it. Portland more. It was, Ooh. It was, uh, it's a place called Vancouver, Washington. Now, that's on, like, the border. Yeah. Of, and Portland's pretty close to the border of Oregon. No, it, it's, yeah. I um, should know that. I've been over there. I'm going to put this thing down. That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 gonna, uh, it's gonna kind of juice. Some juicy peaches. <laughs> these, these peaches are almost like apples. Yeah, but they're not. But they're, they're not. I just peaches. want to point out to everybody at home, they are not. The, the game of impeachment. For the sake of the game. For the sake I of the game. I actually really want to eat this. I'm not gonna lie. At the end of I mean, we are ruining a lot of pens right now. Oh yeah. I know you bought a lot of pens for this. These uh, you know, they're pretty high quality. Well, I mean, at least now, if anybody's like, hey, do you have a pen? 
You won't. You can't say no. <laughs> but you can't Do say I yes mean? because they're all right. Yes. <laughs> They've all been stuck in peaches. Mm, this <laughs> pen's a little sticky. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> uh, you're in school right now. Where are you going to school? ASU. ASU. What are you studying? Photography. Oh, yeah. Photography. Oh, I feel yeah. like that's for, you know foreshadowing. That foreshadowing into something possibly. Yeah. Yes. Um, how many siblings do you have? Uh, one bio and then two halves. Love it. Yeah. Are, uh, where are you in the family? I'm the youngest. The youngest. Do you like being the youngest? Um, it's, it's, it has its perks and its downfalls. I mean, I'm always treated as the baby. Oh, okay. Um, but, you know, I get a, I, I get everything. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's a nice. I think the, the baby's always usually the and I would say it's probably true of my family as well. Yeah. Not probably, it is very true. It is very true. Everybody loves Brooke the most. And at, at, at some point, they just, the, the parents just stop hiding it. They're like, yeah, we know. <laughs> we, have, we have a favorite. I'm liking how everybody's got like different styles. Like styles. Yours, I like it just reminds me of Adam. You have like a like a, a mohawk thing going on. Yeah. Mine is just random. Mine is kind of just like Medusa-esque and just oh. like branching out. I like that. Man, I should have got more pen. I thought with all these pens, yeah, it didn't even pen. fit in the cup that we're gonna be fine. But no, that was special. Maybe if you just got like four packs just for one apple. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, peach. It's one. a peach. I actually, I mean, literally, peach. I took the yeah. rest of them that were in that packet, you know, on the shelf. I got the last one. Okay. Oh man. That's okay, nice. I definitely did not win, but uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna count. So everybody, take yeah. some time and count it off. But you have to do it in French. I got one, two, three. That's all I know. I got three and three. <laughs> twenty-five. Okay, the winner. Win. The winner. The winner. Wow. Okay, cool. I wonder if we can all fit them in one apple now. I mean, this is something I would buy probably from like IKEA. Should we try mine? Let's I feel try. Like I have we, the most. You got the most space. Here. I'm gonna start handing them over to you. Yeah. One at a time. Man, that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. What is your dream car? Ooh, um, it is a 1987 Volvo 240 SL. That is very specific. I love that. Yeah. What, why is that your dream car? Um, I was in Canada one, like a couple years ago, and I was taking photos um, down this uh, hill in this um, town called Abbotsford. It's yes. kind of a farming town, um, and there was this barn that I passed by, and that car was outside it. And you I snapped some pics. I did. I oh my god! I took a photo of it. Right, it's cute with some pear, or peach juice. You see with that peach juice? Yeah. Peach juice. <laughs> Good sake! I don't want them to know it's apple juice. Um, and uh, and yeah, after that, I was like, that's my dream car. Mom was like, "You're not getting it. It's not safe enough." That's fair. Uh, good, that's a good mom answer. It is. It is a great mom answer. You know. Um, I love it. So now I have a Kia. <laughs> Kias are good. Kias, Kias are great. I like Kias. Sorrento. They don't give enough love. I have a Kia. You got a Kia? Yeah, I have a Kia. I like Kias. Kias pretty great. We got a right. five-star safety rating. Ooh, dang! Yeah, five. Five stars. Um, when did you get your first camera? Um, when I started. Photography about uh, I think my sophomore year of high school. Okay, so you like man, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's when you start picking up stuff. You like, yeah, that's when you start realizing your passion. Yes. yes. Um, and I was really glad that I got it at that time. It was a uh, Canon Rebel T2. Yeah. Um, it was a film camera. It was the okay. film. It was the film version of the T2. Okay. Um, I've seen I've seen T2 before. Mm -hmm. I like uh, Schwarzenegger's best work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so sorry, it was the film version of the T2 Canon yeah. camera. Um, it was basically all automatic. Um, Look at that. And, uh, and you know, geez, not even, not even that many bags. Seriously, how many, do I don't even understand. See this? Let's go ahead and give it some love up on the camera. Yeah, that's like a... But you, I got, I got I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wash my hands. You go wash your hands real quick. You know where the sink is. Yeah. Man. 
This does feel like something that you would buy. Yeah, yeah I mean, just, it's kind of like that, that that art piece where someone just taped the banana to the wall. You know, oh, yeah. it looks like you know the the, 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 the the lamp over the piano. Yeah, that, exactly. It looks like that. It's exactly like we can totally see. If that. you watched that episode with Max last week, viewed it at home, you no, would. No, they know. Oh, they. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot. There's, I don't see that much ink in there. It is like cheap. Is it non-toxic ink? I think. Um, I'm gonna check the back. Yeah, it's definitely non-toxic. Okay. <laughs> I like the high quality Fuji peach tips with safe fish. It's a very crunchy peach. I love it. Yeah, impeachment. Yeah. Impeachment. I still don't know how they fit all that stuff in those in those things. Do you keep up with politics? I don't want to go into politics, but do you keep up yes. with politics? You do. I do, but I, I mean I usually reserve my opinions until I'm actually conversating with somebody yes, about yeah. it because this is not so a place people, to talk yeah, about. Yeah, so many people just say things, and yes. I'm just like, oh, oh, that's good. It's good to be, and I would just, I just want to quick say, well, I'm saying like, it's good to be involved or to 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 keep an eye on this. Well, right. it's gonna be my first time voting, so yeah. Yeah, you gotta yeah. keep it up. There we go. Twenty twenty. Yeah. There we go. It's crazy that. Go. that turns, no, I'm okay. <laughs> so my hands are always sticky. That's a thing. <laughs> um, very odd. Ever since I was a kid, um, the, 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 the doctor came out and. Uh, his hands are so okay. sticky. Totally sticky. Yes, yes. I'm trying to hold Echo's hands on. It's like Spider Man. I'm always. <laughs> the, with like thing. the grappling hooks yes. on, the, on the thumb. Hands. Yeah, did you see? Which one? Uh, you, 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 see, you like the Tobin Maguire ones? Which one's your favorite, you think? Uh, okay. I, I like Tobin Maguire. Yes. But I can't get over his crying face. His crying face is terrible. It's so bad. I have every single one of those Spider Man movies. Able to judge which ones I like the best. I do like the Sobey Maguire ones, but they're more Peter Parker movies than they are actually Spider Man movies. Okay. The, the Andrew Garfield ones, I don't know what they did. They yes, were, they're just like, they're they, like, sure. <laughs> were they dating before they actually got the roles? I don't think they were. Awesome. And they, let me just say, they were an adorable couple. Yep. But it was like really, it was just watching them yeah. on the screen yeah. instead of, you know, actually, you know, watching I do like Tom Holland. Tom, Tom, Tom like, I do like the new one. I do like him. I feel like he has done the best of, of, of both of both Peter Parker and, and stuff. The, the other thing is like Tom Holland's like really he can be kind of dorky. He's not a dork, but he kind of. But plays that's, a I dork. think that's kind of. Like and funny. Andrew Garfunkel is not his name, but I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. Art Garfunkel's grandson, Andrew <laughs> Garfunkel. Um, he's a cool dude. Yeah. He's kind of he, he can't be like yeah, you know what I mean exactly. And the movies too, they're making him cool. And he's like yeah. skateboarding, like it's Peter Parker. Yeah. He's a dork. That's part of his appeal. That's part of his appeal. Okay, we're moving on. I'm, see, this is, I told you, most of the show is just me going off the prop. <laughs> and then at the end of it, it goes this one thing. And, and then the next thing you know, you're talking about Care Bears and which one's your favorite Care Bear. And if it's not lying, then I don't know what it would be. <laughs> they shot love out of their chest. <laughs> That's what the world needs now. Yep. What the world love needs out now of your chest. is love out of your chest. There's... I feel like there's, we're getting into some dirty territory. We're gonna, we're gonna skip. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. Sorry, Mom. Okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, what are you shooting with right now? Um, I can show you. Let's see. Oh, I'm super excited for this. You guys are going to love it. Uh -oh. this thing here. Okay. Okay. This is my four, five, four by five. It's my new, well, not very new. I got it about a year ago. Year ago in November, from a buddy named Ben Thrasher. Okay. Um, uh, that's his actual last name. That, that is, is a pretty so cool. badass. That is pretty good. Um, uh, and then this is just it's, it's a one camera. I love it. Um, how does so? How do you set it up? So uh, it's it's a lot like the Civil War cameras. Uh, oh, cool. You have lens in here. It's basically just this big, huge black box with a lens in front. Um, on the back the viewing screen. Um, you open up the lens like that, set your aperture, all that, all that fun stuff, um, and set your shutter speed, pack the shutter, and then just uh, if this will close. There we go. Cool. Look at that. Yeah. It's a pretty fun camera. Um, I really like it. It gives uh, big negatives, so it has like a lot of kind of detail in the image. Where would, yes. you, where would you find the camera? Like, how'd you find the camera? Um, I was on a photo walk with Phoenix Film Revivals, or Copper State Films, nice. um, photo walks, and uh, 
we were talking about large format, and Ben was like, hey, I have a large format camera I can give you. And, um, and I was like, okay, how much? And he's like, 200 bucks. And I was like, steal. Yeah, uh, seriously. Uh, and then uh, I got the lens for about 150, um, and it served me well. And then I got everything else just from like random people. Just, just picking it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then this is, this is my 35 millimeter baby. This is my Leica M6. Um, and that's film as well? Yes. Oh, nice. um, uh, it's just my most compact. Uh, this is my grad present, actually. Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, it was, yeah, it's a, it's a nifty little thing. Handmade in Germany. Um, this one was made in 1997, um, uh -huh. along with a thousand others. Um, of from that year. So it's, it's a pretty like, yeah. small amount of cameras that, that come out each year. Um, I actually have a disaster story about this camera. Oh no! I dropped it. Um, and the lens hood bent, and I had to take pliers and I had to like pull them up against. And that must have been scary. Yeah. Uh, You're like, oh, <laughs> am I gonna, am I gonna was, fix it? It was when, within the first week of having it. Yeah, it's all when you first yeah, get it. Yeah. So for Christmas, I got a new lens hood, and I lost the lens cap on an airplane, so I also got a lens cap. You have to get a new, you get a new one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now the photos you sent me and the, the ones I'm gonna put up on the screen now. Nobody at home, yeah, everyone on Instagram lands like, what the heck is he talking about? Um, those those were taken with this camera that you have in your hand right now? Um, or the one that the one that you were shot before? So, mostly they were all shot on another camera okay. um, that I didn't bring today. That's okay. The Mamiya RZ67. Um, love it. It's a Japanese camera. Um, they're used for studio work. Um, lovely, lovely cameras. Very hefty. I think they weigh like nine pounds. Man, um, man, that is heavy. Yeah. You beat somebody over the head with this. Though. Yeah. Jeez. Well, they're 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 supposed to be like on the tripod oh, all day, so no one's really hand holding them now. Um, but today, people are to like actually putting put them in street photography and yeah. all that stuff. Um, so I think that's 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 a pretty. That's awesome, thing. man. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a. I'm gonna put this back and then let's take a look at some of the the photos that you sent. And I like I said, I'll upload those to the screen. Does everyone editing, just editing. close your eyes real quick because it's going to get really shaky. You're going to be like, is this a Bourne movie? No. Not it's, you guys. You guys are... it's not a Bourne movie. It's just uh, Dean trying to fix the camera real quick. You only do the high project, you only do high production quality. It's only music theory philosophy is only. That's only the high only thing budget, we do. High production quality. That's all that we do. Music that's all that I know. There's yeah. over my hands like that. Adorable. Okay. I got them pulled up here. Some of them oh, the have sense. been shot on my 35 though. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's hard for me to actually get images off of the 4x5 though because I don't have a scanner that um, can scan a 4x5 uh, negative. It's such a large format. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and do you like put So I'll put them in the same order that we're putting up. Okay. And do you develop these like in a uh, dark room, yeah. Dark room? Um, yeah. Um, what is it like being in the dark room for someone? I've never been in the dark I've been room, so what is it? For it's it's it, the it, most beautiful place that you could ever be. It's I love it's, it. it's quiet, um, and there's just these chemicals that give you cancer in front of you, <laughs> and, and um, you know it's fun, um, and uh, you're just just seeing the image arise from like this blank piece of paper, and you're just like it starts to get black, and then. All these different images come out. It's amazing. It's the best feeling in the world when you actually get like a good the, when, when you get a good print um, uh, because you're doing all these like techniques over the um, over the image, trying to get like the light right mm -hmm. and like doing like a burning or a dodging. So that's all post taking the photo. These are yeah, things yeah, that you gotta yeah, think yeah. about when you're taking with film. And and how does that work? Like, how does do you grab the film and then? So you have a negative carrier, uh -huh. um, and you put the negative. Inside a inside the negative carrier, mm -hmm. and then you um, put in the larger, and the mm -hmm. enlarger is a, um, a light bulb, and then a set of glass pieces that magnify it, and then a lens on the bottom that shoots out onto a easel. You put the paper in there, and then project the, the negative onto the paper. I did. I just had no idea. You know what I mean? I think like it's crazy. That's that's all they do, and we're so spoiled with just like taking a. You know, yeah. with your phone, yeah, and then you got something. You're like, oh, I'm just gonna edit it and put, you know, Instagram or yeah. whatever. You, 
What were you saying? No, I mean, exactly. Job. Like doing it on the computer is kind of like, oh, like all that's been I mean, simplified. Light room, room, dark room. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. With um, studying that stuff at, at, at school with photography specifically, do you have to do both? You, I would, obviously, I would think you'd have to work on both things. Do they do things with Photoshop or? Um, so there's different classes. Okay. Uh, this past semester, um, it was a completely dark room class, um, and that's that's my uh, that's where I come from. Is is a dark room yeah. kind of uh, study, um, and then this semester it's going to be more Photoshop and all that stuff. So I'm I'm excited because I don't I I really don't know a lot about Photoshop and I really don't know a lot about Lightroom and all that mm -hmm. stuff um, because I mostly just do my editing on like Disco or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. But that's, that's awesome. ASU doesn't have a studio. They're, really? Yeah, we don't have like studios with backdrops or anything like that. That's so, weird. Yeah. I would have definitely thought they would have well, something. ASU's ninth in the nation for um, photography. We are severely underfunded. Really? Uh, our dark rooms are falling apart. There's like uh, legs that are like starting to get rusted and like fall off. And really? Yeah, it's it's really bad. But um, um, that's actually the real reason we brought you here today. We're raising money right now. <laughs> if you send me money to my Venmo, I promise I'll get it to him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I promise. You want to get it to the? Oh wait, they have my fingers crossed. I promise we'll put that on the Dang it. I, that is astounding. Ninth in the nation. Do you think about all the schools mm -hmm. and how underfunded it is just the art program? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, I mean, that's every single art program at a university. Um, the community colleges here are actually have better facilities. Like uh, shocking. Mm -hmm. That is shocking. Shocking. I don't know what else to say. No. Our dark room, our our photo building, uh, was redesigned. Um, it was a built in 1920 um, and it was a girls dormitory okay. uh, and then they just like stripped everything and, and put Jeez. it in a, a lab and all that stuff so yeah crazy a girls dormitory that would just turn into like you know when you're like oh there's a joke there but it just over your head you're like no man if I was just a little bit smarter I'd really tell you that I could say something funny there yeah. we're very scripted as well we're very scripted very scripted mm -hmm. you don't come to me out <laughs> Oh, wait, sorry, let's, let's take a look at these photos. Okay. You haven't seen these. No, I haven't. They're incredible. Seen them, no. So, um, that first photo. Um, it's on your screen yeah. now, not yours. Sorry, guys. Editing, sorry. Editing. Um, so, it was this oh, gal. This one's so yeah, cool. Yeah, her wow. name is Emily. Um, uh, she's actually my sister. Um, oh, oh okay. uh, we, We'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Um, uh, and then, so I had her press her face against the. the backdrop that we were shooting in front of. Oh man! And, um, so we got like the outline of her face. That is oh, so cool. cool. Um, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now you did a, a series mm -hmm. where people were shaped. Was it while they were cutting their hair? It was, uh, they were just shaving their heads. They were just yeah. shaving their heads. And was there well, awareness or something? Um, it was more just kind of this idea of rebirth of self. I love uh, that. Okay. Um, because uh, I'm actually gonna be doing. I'm gonna be shaving my head. No! This coming year, yeah, I know. Your hair is amazing. Well, it's oh, it's man. the only way I can end the end the series. You have beautiful Truly. hair. That's fair. Man. That's fair. Okay, but everybody else, write in the comments right now. This is not me trying to pander to get more comments and likes and everything. Tell them not to do it right now. <laughs> if we get enough, if we get five hundred and seventy thousand comments <laughs> saying no, then you won't you won't do it. You, you said yes <laughs> to, to that right there. Yeah, yeah. Script, sorry, let's keep going. Um, this is, a, I really like, uh, that is such a cool self portrait. Um, Very cool. Off the Leica. Yeah. Um, this was actually with a, this is a 35 millimeter um, photo off of a camera that my grandpa had given me. Um, it was my first range finder. Um, okay. So there's, there's a couple different types of uh, cameras. There's um, a viewfinder mm -hmm. um, or view camera. Yeah. Which is my 4x5. Yeah, that's what um, it shows. A range finder, which is, um, you're actually not seeing through the lens. Mm -hmm. You're seeing through two pieces of glass that align, and then you know that you're in focus. Wow, that's crazy. Um, so th this was the first rangefinder I had, and then like is another rangefinder. Yeah. Um, this is a old guy in uh, oh uh, Dublin, I think. No way. That looks there. so cool. I like it. It does. Yeah. It's like a. Um, I've been working a lot with Polaroids recently. Okay. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Um, so this is just an image that. Uh, 
this car crash scene that we did for my final. Um, my last I saw season. that on Instagram. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, that was so good. That was such a cool scene. Yes. This guy, incredible. I'm still working on it. You are still yeah, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. it? No way. It's so um, cool. Uh, and then found like a church that was planning to join the Spanish missions. No way. Yeah, so it's been there for a while. Um, so when, when did they give you... Did you decide to do the car crash series? Seri 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 mm -hmm. seri yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything um, is pretty open ended. They, they, really they didn't say, like, you need to do something like that. Yeah, Did they yeah. give you any guidelines when you picked it? Um, just uh, eight to ten photos. Eight to ten photos of yeah. whatever you think. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be something like a yeah. theme. Yeah. That's so cool. Gosh. Um, so some people did like reflections or uh, oh, what else did they do? Um, self portraits. Um, oh, man. There were so many. Uh, some were like about light, some were about shape. There's one kid that just did Legos. Yeah. It was actually not even Legos. It was like Playmobil. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? The, the, the brick plane or something. Yeah. The yeah. brick plane. Yeah. Um, I love it. This is such a cool... Oh my gosh, I love this one. Uh, this is a Polaroid. Uh, this is a peel apart film Polaroid. Oh my um, gosh. So you have your negative and then you have your positive. Uh, your negative's right here and then your yeah. positive's right here. Um, and these are all like the instructions. Okay. Uh, so this, this film... That's actually like ten dollars um, worth of film, just that one image. Oh my um, gosh! It was discontinued in twenty fifteen. Some people have stored them in freezers to to make them last mm -hmm. longer. Yeah. Um, and because there's very few now, uh, they uh, um, sell them for a bunch of money. Bunch yeah, of I was just saying. Um, you'd hate for somebody to get on eBay and just buy it, but I mean, if they're they're probably not going to buy a Polaroid film. Of course, yeah. If it's like that much more expensive, yeah. this one's only three dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that was a really fun shoot. We, uh, Man, that was so cool. Yeah. No, it was a double exposure. Double exposure. Yes. Oh, I see. Because that's his eye underneath. That yeah, is yeah, so yeah. cool. Um, is this a friend of yours? Yeah, uh, her name's Eve. Um, we've been, we've been friends for a while, and um, uh, she was one of the first runway models for um, my old magazine in high school. So. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Shot in a while. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, great job, Eve. And then we, uh, then we burned the negative. Um, oh, so you burned underneath it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that's so cool. Um, just because of, I don't know, something about it. You wanted that cool. It looks, yeah, it looks more official. Um, this, this is on the Leica. Um, this is just I recognize those boots. Yep. Um, those are actually not mine. Those They're are not yours? Do yeah. you have a pair of those? Uh, sort of. Oh, so, okay. Similar, similar. I'm off. Um, this is Keith. He's a really, really sweet guy. Um, I love that the shadow right behind mm -hmm. it. It's so cool. Um, this is actually the first project that I did for my... First project that I did for my class this semester. No, um, that's so cool. Yeah, I think it's like light or something. Like yeah. That. Um, this is one of the uh, disaster, high fashion and um, high risk situation. That is so cool. Sort of yeah. Where did um, you guys go to shoot that? Uh, like Mission Beach. Beach. Okay. Mission Beach. Yeah, in California. Yeah. Man. Uh, drove out there for the weekend and we shot. It was first November. Um, it was actually the warmest day of the ocean. Um, for I was just in November. Yeah. Um, Shocking. Really? But the sand was freezing. The sand was really brutally cool. cold. I couldn't feel my feet after. Really? Um, but yeah, the, the water was surprisingly warm. Really? Um, can, I just, can I get in there with you guys? No. This, this is KJ. Very sweet man. KJ. Um, KJ. Handsome. Yeah, yeah. Very, so handsome. Very handsome. I think he's signed with Ford now. Um, I'm not even surprised. Yeah. And then his his girlfriend um, was actually in the Tyler Creator. Uh, Tyler the Creator. Um, I'm trying to think if it was. I think it was I Think. No way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. or earth, earthquake. I'm, I'm not sure, um, but they're just like a, they're a power couple, basically. Um, and then this is Keith. Um, oh, this is Keith. Keith. This is Sage. Um, she actually just went to China for um, uh, modeling. Um, she was there for a month. That's incredible. Um, and she was doing also a job there. gorgeous. Yeah, these, um, these always lovely people. Um, oh, I like that one that says cigarette. Yeah, this is Frankie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was in a house party. Um, they were uh, like lighting their cigarette with a stove top because they couldn't find a ma uh, or a match lighter. Yeah, yeah lighter. That's so funny. Um, so I took a photo of that. And I thought it was pretty funny. Um, this is Thomas. Um, also really sweet. So these three um, were for like the same project. I had to emulate a photographer that I really liked. Mm -hmm. His name was Richard Avedon. I actually just went to New York and bought his like fashion book of. 1944 to 2000 collection. No way! It's 44 like, to 2000. Yeah. Um, prolific. Like seventy-two dollars. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, this is uh, Allery and Kaylee. Um, very 
that's cool. I like yeah. the sense of channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do too. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. With the yeah, but um, it was actually so nearly overexposed. So um, I'm really thankful that I actually got something from this. You look up. That's just the start of mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So I guess that means jeez. Um, and then this was from the from the water scene. That same beach. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. That was that was like the the main shot that I wanted to get, but. Um, whenever they would sit down, the the waves would carry them back, and, I, and so like it would go out of focus. I have like a whole entire roll that's coming. Oh, this is completely useless. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, that's so funny. This, that's a cool this one photo. Um, it's actually really hard to look at because of just how much detail <gasps> wow. you can get from a six by seven negative. Jeez, um, you can see every stitch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, thanks. Man. You no, yeah, that. you just need brain, man. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Gosh, that is incredible. The, the sage's coat. It's actually her brother's. I'm, like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm never looking. Um, her brother's like out for wedding or something. No I mean, way. Like out for like a wedding. What color was it? Um, I think it was, it was gray or black. Gray. Yeah. Okay. Um, this was in Canada. Um, hey. They were making a new dock. And no so way. They were painting cement. Um, so you don't know this guy? You just no, I do. Um, well, I've, uh, so this was at the church camp that I was. Oh, okay. At. Yeah, um, I remember you told me that. That's mm-hmm. awesome. That was the day that we were leaving. Uh, very sweet man. We've I've known him since I was three. Wow. So yeah. Um, uh, and this is also a car crash. Car crash. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I like this. I like this photo. That's so cool. It's I like a, how the light is coming out. Yeah. Of the car. Um, it's very like mysterious. And that like you were talking about that that church in the background mm-hmm. is just so cool. I wish there wasn't the gate, but also it helped with the actual crash because it did like. The, then it was there something. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this was an image that um, a friend of mine um, really wanted to recreate a uh, Marilyn Monroe shoot. Yeah. Yes, I totally get that vibe. Yes, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, and doppelganger, man. Yeah. Uh, and so we actually um, shot that at like the perfect time. It was a cloudy day. It was the only cloudy day in like the whole entire like month. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, it was right before she was leaving for New York. She's at NYU now, okay. um, and uh, I've known her. She actually actually helped start the uh, the magazine. No oh, way. Um, yeah. Now the um, magazine. Let's explain it. what what magazine is that. So um, my junior year of high school, we started this uh, magazine called QNDP. Um, it was a fashion lifestyle magazine. It was really good. Um, we did a we did a lot of like um, like runway shows and all that stuff too. Yeah. But that, that, it, it just taught me. It really helped my photography. Like um, I wouldn't be where I am without it. Such short deadlines that I had to, okay. to go with. Um, I really had to just like crank out photos every single every single month. Are you a procrastinator or a procrastinator? Or? Yeah, I'm a procrastinator. I get it from my I get it from my mom or my yeah. dad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I need dad. to ask him. My, my dad. My dad. It's yeah. so funny. Anyway. It's so funny. Um, so that was a fun shoot. Um, yeah, the the Marilyn And the sun shit, broke yeah. like right just after the just right after we we finished. Man, so. one time so serendipitous. That's yeah, so yeah. cool. I love when it works out like that. Um, so cool. Yeah. Um, so this was. I, I printed She's, it. She did. Oh yeah. Oh, we actually had a, um, we had a makeup artist. Uh, oh yeah, they did add those things. Oh yeah. yeah. So we got some cuts right there. Um, but I'll tell you what, her earrings look great. Oh, the cherry earrings. Yeah. yeah. She still looks great. Um, oh, they are cherries. That's yeah, they are. Um, and then we had a cool like leather jacket. Um, from a friend uh, Lauren Isadora. She works with a lot of like photographers around the valley. Extremely hard image to print um, because this is a yellow car okay. and black and white, yellow and blue are almost the exact same color. Okay. So um, uh, when you're trying to capture the sky and there's a yellow car, yeah. they almost fade into each oh other. Oh my gosh! Yeah. And so, Do you want that contrast? With that yeah, thing? and so um, printing that was probably like the hardest thing of my life because <laughs> you would like you get this and it'd be super dark compared to like everything else right here. Yeah. And then, but like, you could finally see some difference and then right here and then right here are the, are the two colors. Yeah, if you see on the top of the, uh, the top of the image where the car goes like right into the together. screen mm-hmm. of the sky. Yeah. It's incredible. Do you, so do you only have one shot when you're doing that stuff? When, when you're printing, yeah. Um, so, and, you, and you can't see it. So you're just going by guessing. 
Um, you're like, okay, this is about 13 seconds of burning, then like 12 seconds of dodging, and then like, um, and then like a regular light, and then um, you might have to like pre-flash and after-flash the image where you take the, the paper and then you put it under a, a light that isn't, um, and you just do it like 0.1 second, and then you get the edges of the, um, uh, the paper burned. And that's, a, that's, yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot. Yes. Yeah, that is very, very technical, very hand -hand. high stress. Oh yeah, but I mean well, the product. And is because important. because each, I was printing eleven by fourteen. Um, yeah. Everyone else was printing eight by ten, but I, I wanted to like because these were these bigger. these were bigger negatives. These yes. were uh, six by seven centimeters. Yeah. Um, Man. And so uh, it's it's what I shot you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We did a photo shoot together. If you've seen the ones, I'll put I'll post some of the pictures right now on the screen. These are shame. Maybe I'll put them right here. Who knows if they're gonna be down here? Oh my gosh! Yeah, so handsome. It's not because of me. It was because this guy. Um, that was such a fun shoot too. Yeah. And it, you, that it could be so stressful, but it was. It, it ended up just being super fun as we uh, went into what I only could assume was like a heroin den. And <laughs> at night, yeah. it was not. It was kind of sketchy. Yeah. A, um, a little sketchy. It was. But I was like so much. So yeah, there were cockroaches and Beetlejuice was in there. Yeah. Dude, don't say it again. <laughs> oh gosh, that would be terrible. That'd be terrible. Incredible. What are some of the benefits that you feel like um, film has over shooting digital? This isn't a classic question, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Um, honestly, I think both Heck, both both, both formats are great. Um, I like shooting film because I have control over every single process. Uh -huh. So um, I roll my own film. So like I um, get empty canisters and then I get a whole entire like hundred feet of uh, film and then I roll it into these canisters and I cut it myself so I have like how many exposures I want rather than like the classic 36 or 24 or 27 yeah so I can be like uh, I want 40 exposures or stuff like that um, and then I develop everything and then I print and then I process and, um, and then I scan and um, I, of course shoot and all that stuff so yeah. so every, every step is I, I if something goes wrong I can't blame like the camera or, yeah. or like uh, I mean yeah, yeah the yeah. computer or anything like that so I, everything everything leads back to me um, it's also 100% authentic yeah. you mm -hmm. at the final product which yeah. means your things gonna look like nobody else's too yeah which is pretty freaking cool I actually have like um, a specific uh, developing method where like I get certain type of grain structures the ember yeah yeah, yeah. Um, the ember I, 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 the EW I probably shouldn't show it because don't show it Stop yeah, it. It's trademark. Yeah. We're going to censor that out right there. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I, I mix my chemicals different so that I get like different grain structure and yeah. uh, different contrast um, than, than other people. So, yeah. There's, the, uh, there's nothing this guy can't do. It's so crazy because it's like, I know Photoshop and like all the terms that you said, it's like, I know, but I know it through Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, through like color dodging, all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what that is. But the fact that like, I was like, well, obviously it came from somewhere and being print photos yeah, yeah like in my mind i'm thinking like well yeah you can do this button or this button mm -hmm. but it's like no this is a, it's like yeah, a yeah, whole yeah. process of doing yeah, like these different techniques it's it's stuff. like if you were to um see the image on your on your laptop and then close your eyes and pick up a brain tool and you just have to like memorize oh, where, where it was yeah where it was yeah yeah, yeah. Jeez. and then how much you need to add yeah gosh i so, can't imagine it's a lot of fun. It's, um, a, it's just a surgery. Yeah. A blindfold. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want somebody doing surgery with me blindfolded. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, digital's amazing as well. You have so many benefits. Um, yeah. You know, you have as many like photos as you want, or yeah. as many as your card can take, um, which definitely is, is something that I wish, because <laughs> wish film had, because um, you know you only get 12, 10, 35 photos or whatever. Mm -hmm. Film's expensive, mm -hmm. so expensive, um, and yeah. If you call that number on the screen right now, uh, we're going to be starting up another <laughs> donation, the foundation for for Everett's film. Yeah, so he needs all the film. I need all. Once again, it looks like my Venmo. It's not. Um, <laughs> you know, it has my name on it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. man, that's incredible. That's so cool. Can you? Are you pretty good at? Uh, would you be able to tell the difference between like a a uh, a photo that has been a film and versus like a digital photo. Are they, it's pretty close. I, I would say I could do it. You yeah. could do it. Yeah. I wish I had a game I should have played. Yeah, 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 we should have done that. That would have been cool. Yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, 
No, I, yeah, I, I haven't even looked at any of my shit. But, uh, oh, oh, I love that. And, and usually, dig- the digital has like it has a like mm-hmm. y- it has a tell. Yeah. And it's usually like digi pixel. Right? <laughs> you can see the pixels. You, you can add like uh, digital like film grain, but uh, you, but you, you, you can, can tell. You can fake. tell. You can tell. Yeah. It's fake. Okay, while we're talking about this, I'm gonna pull up something as we go through this, this last section of it. Okay. Okay, if you don't know, Everett is one of the most romantic men I've ever met in my time. Not towards me, I wish, that's okay. <laughs> no. um, he, uh, yes, so we're gonna be talking, I wanted to ask, this is cheesy, but, but I, I felt like it was okay. He alluded this. to it too. He alluded to it. So, I want to talk about what, <laughs> I remember being like 13 years old, and there's an episode, there's VH1, and it was like, what makes a good kiss for mm-hmm. And I remember watching it and like taking notes yeah. at the time, <laughs> but we're going to do one of those things right now. So, what do you think is the diff? what were some of the attributes that somebody would have of being a good, make, what makes a good kiss versus what makes just a, 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 a sloppy joke kiss? I should preface, I have only kissed three people. Well, that's totally fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure they're all uh, amazing. They're probably fireworks. Two, two of them, which were texts. So I don't have, I don't have much, much to to delve into as as far as. You know, as soon as you kiss one person, you can kind of guess. Yeah. What, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what works, what doesn't. Uh, no teeth. Definitely no don't, teeth. Don't don't bite me. No teeth. No teeth. Just don't just don't like ram your your front teeth <laughs> against mine. Oh, that, uh, oh that, <laughs> I've had that. Yeah. That did not feel good. That hurts. <laughs> Yeah. Like, um, you're like checking your tooth afterwards to see if it's chipped. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, Have you ever had somebody lick your face? No. That one's that that that's not real. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like, no. Nah, just know. straight up lick I, I, can, I can thank Jesus for that. Thank Jesus for that one. <laughs> um, okay, okay. So what do you, what do you, you should always moisturize or like put chapstick. Always have, because one of the worst things that you do not want is a dry mouth kiss. Like, mm. that's. On them and yours, like they're not gonna like it. It's little. just like it's a, crusty. Yeah. You don't want to kiss a crusty crab pizza. Yeah, you don't. You really don't. Okay. Crusty crab pizza though. The crusty crab pizza, pizza, pizza the actual for you and, and me. me. The crusty crab pizza <laughs> is. Uh, did you watch the last SpongeBob growing up? See, this is I did. I yeah. did. My my did you dad. Have a favorite had... episode? Ooh, uh, I just cut you off. So what are you saying? My dad used to hate it, and then he actually watched an episode. Like I so yeah, that's yeah. so funny. Um, I, I'm trying to remember. There's so, so many, many episodes. There's so many great ones. The doodle, the doodle ball. Doodle ball, great. Everyone, everyone always sends me like Everett Malloy Mahoney Malloy. I'm like, no, no, it's <laughs> not a thing. <laughs> um, the Crusty Crab Pizza one's really funny. The stadium one. Yes, I I'd say that's part of my favorite it's one. one. It's amazing. Um. The, what's the one where forget everything but fine dining and the uh, uh, fine dining and um, oh, man. I think it's the same one or it's 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 it's, it's, got a it's with the, it's with schoolium. It's like forget everything but fine dining and oh, man, service or something like that. that. It's okay. Okay, so on the screen I'll put this up there on the screen too. I'm gonna save it right now. So don't forget. You're welcome, buddy. In the future, I said buddy. In the yeah, when I was growing up, they called me Buddy. Okay. Like funny. Elf? Like Buddy the Elf? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly why I stopped it's right after, It's by. right after that? Already. Okay. So, left or right? Okay. So, there are different film stocks that have different saturation. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm going to guess this is film. Actually, mm, that's... So, this is actually kind of hard. That, that is dumb. I'm going to say that's film. Okay. That's digital. Let's check it out. Oh, I got a little better. Because if I'm if I'm guessing the film stock, it's most likely Fuji Pro uh, Pro 400H, and that Fuji and Fuji or Velvia. That's a threat. Velvia. So it's a slide film. So slide film typically is more saturated than color negative. Yes. Um, which is Velvia. Velvia actually goes for twenty dollars a roll now. Wow. Are you serious? Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. Was taken. So the one on the right was taken full frame, Canon 6D. That's a digital. Mm-hmm. And that was the one on the... Velvia, that's yeah. the left. 
So. You got it right. Yeah. I knew it. Actually, knew my boy, good. you don't mess with my boy. He is the Super Bowl champion. Do you have anything coming up soon? Any shoots or uh, showcases or something that you? I had a mental breakdown two nights ago. Oh, jeez. Like, like 3 a.m. And I was I was looking at a photo and I saw like this gal with arm with her arm laid out and then like pomegranate seeds laying out. And I I've been planning this photo shoot with a friend. Um, and I was like, I got it. We're gonna shoot pomegranates and there's gonna be red flowers and it's gonna be blue and there's gonna be white and there's gonna be yellow and it's gonna be pretty. And, <laughs> and then That's exactly um, that was presented. <laughs> and um, uh, and then for some reason I thought that my friend were flowers. Like I was like imagining them as flowers. And so I sent a text. I was like, you remind me of a petunia or a poppy with a bee army behind the, the petals and they, have, and they have a wagon and <laughs> oh my gosh and like the the leaves are as big of big enough to like house children like sleeping i love this and Very so descriptive. yeah i i, I sent her that and, and she was like wow oh. so this is the next thing that's coming up soon yeah mm -hmm. uh, uh pomegranates and, okay uh, and it's uh flowers. where are you is it just gonna be via how do you view that a light blue backdrop a light blue. with a nice crisp white table round table oh, man. Um, with like this large stemmed red flower and pomegranate juice dripping off of it the cracked pomegranate and then she's looking up her head like just on the man you got it down to the that, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. kind of stuff that you have to do do you, yeah. How do you find inspiration for these things? If you said you just found sleep deprivation and <laughs> um, sleep deprivation and photo books. And photo books. So you photo go through books. a lot of photo books. Yeah. I, Is there anything outside of like photo books that inspires you? Like uh, maybe Instagram is amazing. Instagram Twitter, Twitter is amazing. Pinterest. Um, yeah, yeah, all that fun stuff. I actually don't have a Pinterest. Oh, I need one. one. You can get one. You can. Get one. <laughs> it's it's stuff, dude. You'd yeah. be Pinterest famous. Painless. Pain we'll edit that in post. We'll yeah. we'll edit that in post. Um, crazy. Uh, how people? How do people view the final product? For you? Um, what would be the best Twitter, way? Twitter um, or Instagram. Twitter. Um, typically, Instagram. I'm gonna post these on Instagram, but okay. I'll. Twitter typically likes more saturated colors. Yes. So I might go with both. Okay. Um, then. Um, I'll put the links to that on the uh, in the description. You'll see his name's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. his name's right here. Uh, Instagram, Evan Malloy. Twitter, Evan Malloy. Instagram live, you get you don't yeah. get anything. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Instagram live, <laughs> sorry guys. Uh, Once again, I appreciate you watching. Uh, MySpace. Uh, MySpace. Nah, yeah. Uh, Friendster. Friendster. Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, that's that's a really old. Cool <laughs> yeah. This just shows you our age. Sure. <laughs> Dude, I don't think that Nicole had befriended me, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, no. I was always waiting. Oh, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it's 2019. It is fine. It's almost. It's almost it's over. Oh, it's like it's almost a year decade. Weird. Yeah. Odd time. Odd time. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited for you, man. Thank you. you thanks, for, thanks for having me here. Dude, thank you for being here. You did. I just think the world of you. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this week. Um, have a happy New Year's. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Yes, that's exactly what I was going with. I was going to say something. Instagram live, just keep watching. And just, just keep on just watching. Keep going. We love you. <laughs> Goodbye. See you in 2020. See you in 2020. Goodbye. Where are you, Chris? How many